I'm Elizabeth Pranam with the top stories on Al Jazeera. Egypt's President Mohamed Morsi has declared a 30-day state of emergency in Port Said, Suez and Ismailia. At least 50 people have been killed and hundreds injured during days of violent protests. Many people here are asking why are the Suez Canal governorates, Port Said, Suez and Ismailia being singled out with this decision to impose an emergency, a uh, state of emergency and curfew when there are violence in other cities including Cairo and Alexandria. A very small uh, protest of just about under 100 people uh, took to the streets uh, and chanted, come out of your homes, Morsi wants to ruin your homes or in other words, your, li your livelihood. French and Malian soldiers have captured Timbuktu airport as they continue to retake territory from rebels in northern Mali. On Saturday, they claim the city of Gao. Brazil's president has traveled to Santa Maria to meet victims' relatives after Saturday's nightclub fire. More than 230 people died and hundreds more were injured. An investigation is underway. Al Jazeera's Teresa Boy reports. Some media reports have already suggested that the nightclub, for example, had a one very small door and that that door uh, had, was closed when the fire started. Apparently, the security guards initially thought that instead of a fire, there was a fight. And they closed the door for a while in order to prevent people to leave uh, without paying. That's one of the things that has come out. The other one is that many of those who died were between 16 and 20 years old. The underage lied in order to be able to go inside uh, the club. You can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.